everyone what's up it's dp aviation here and today i'm gonna be telling you about the top 10 deadliest aircrafts in the world coming at number 10 we have yakoliv yak 40. the yak 40 was designed in the 1960s at the same time that the u-154 was more on that in a minute the Yak-40 was intended as a regional jet or VIP transport to replace the noisy, noisy propeller-driven aircraft of the 1940s. The current operators are Air Kazakhstan, Motorsich Airlines, Sivarstrel Airlines and Vologda Aviation Enterprise. This was most likely due to the aircraft being of poor quality and the design of the aircraft being extremely inept for its job. As a result, 122 Yak-40s crashed with 842 fatalities. Coming at number 9, we have LETL-410, originally designed as a cargo aircraft in the same vein the Casa C-212. The L-410 soon became adopted as a regional airliner due to extra demand. LET altered the design of the L-410 to make it easier for airlines. The aircraft's current operators are Eisen Air, Aerocot, Satena, Intra Ellis Air, Silver Air, Van Air Europe, and many others. Altering the design, LET accidentally exposed flaws in the design which caused the L410 to crash several times. It is involved in 116 air accidents with 426 fatalities. Coming at number 8, we have McDonnell Douglas DC-9. The DC-9, later known as the 717, is probably the most well-known aircraft in this list. Indeed, many major airlines flew it this aircraft well into the 21st century, but the DC-9 is still known for as one of the most dangerous aircrafts. The DC-9 had difficult issues with landing caused by a plethora of both pilots and manufacturing errors. This caused 276 air accidents and 3,697 fatalities. As of 2024, only two airlines operate DC-9 commercially and two as cargo aircraft. Aeronaves TSM and Amritsar Charters operate them in the commercial aircraft and USA Jet Airlines and Everts Air Cargo operate them as cargo aircraft. Coming at number 7, we have BAC-111. The BAC-111 was second British jet airliner ever built after the Havilland Comet. Just like Comet, the airliner was well received by many airlines, however, it was plagued with many teething issues. Primarily, the issue was due to iced up sensors distorting readings due to the fact that jet fly higher than propeller aircraft. This caused 13 major crashes with 149 fatalities. Coming at number 6, we have Fokker F-28. The F-28 was originally meant as a regional jet that could fly to routes that were operated by now aging Vickers Viscount. Surprisingly much, the design was inspired by both the BAC-111 and the DC-9. Due to this, the F-28 also got a reputation as being one of the most dangerous aircraft in the model to fly. As a result, most operators pulled their F-28s from service. Currently, only one airline is flying them. Fly SAX operates a fleet of F-28s, a whole one of F-28. Coming at number 5, we have Douglas DC-8. Once the DC-8 was one of the most common aircrafts in our skies, on many routes, the aircraft competed with the much larger and more famous 747. Since its introduction in 1959, the DC-8 has been involved in 146 air accidents with 2,256 fatalities. This has given it a lot of highest fatality of crash ratios of any aircraft. Many consider it to be the most dangerous aircraft ever. Coming at number 4 is the Airbus A300. Despite being first ever pan-European airline, the instigator of many Airbus vs Boeing debates, the A300 was actually quite unsafe. Today, 212 A300s remain in service over its lifetime serving in both europe and north america the a300 crashed 75 times this has resulted in 1435 fatalities the current operators are afrikia airways egypt air iran air iran air tour mahan air mirage air Geshem, solin air sudan airways Coming at number 3 is Chipolev 2154. The 2154 was built in the same time as other tri-jet engines were. 
Like many other Russian aircrafts during the Cold War, they were taken off from design of American aircraft and altered slightly. Usually this just made the aircraft less fuel efficient. But it is considered one of the most dangerous aircraft as this aircraft has resulted in 110 aircraft accidents, 7 of which have been fatal. Currently only two airlines operate these aircraft, it's Air Corio and Al Rosa. Number 2 is the Lockheed L-1011 TriStar. I personally love the L-1011 TriStar which is why I paid so much to add it in the airliner on this list. However, it wasn't due to poor manufacturing or training that caused the L-1011 to be so deadly. The aircraft was involved in many crashes due to mainly its aircraft systems trying to take control from the pilot and the pilot fighting back due to this all L-1011s have been grounded and are relegated to museums. Coming at number 1 is the world's most used aircraft and it's none other than the Airbus A320. The A320 is one of the most common airliners in our sky, except the base, the aircraft is one of the most dangerous aircraft ever produced. The standard A320 has been involved in 119 accidents, the most famous of them being the US Airways Flight 1549, better known as the Miracle of the Hudson. And the worst part about this, British Airways and Air France still operate fleets of A320-100. However, most of their original ones have since been replaced by the newer variants. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video and please do comment down below that which of these aircraft has frightened you the most. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share this video and also leave a comment down below if you want to see more videos like that. Goodbye, take care.